From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kara Sundland. Great news if you're looking for a place to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Starting tomorrow, you don't need an appointment anymore to get vaccinated at any of the Hartford Healthcare Clinics. Trinity Health of New England also announced that it will take any walk-ins at its vaccine clinics. And in East Windsor, people can walk up to get their shots and a free box of food at the clinic set up at the Southern Auto Auction in East Windsor. That's hosted by Priority Urgent Care and Food Share. You simply drive up, get a shot, and a free box of fresh food. Right now we have to work harder to convince people how important it is to get vaccinated, make it easier to forget uh, for people to get vaccinated. And you come right here, you get some food for those who are food insecure. We've got this available for you, no cost. The event runs today until 2 p.m. A 74-year-old woman was sexually assaulted at a senior living facility in West Haven. It happened at the Surfside Apartments on Oak Street Tuesday night. Police have arrested this man, 27-year-old Gianni Morales of Springfield, Massachusetts. Investigators say he approached the woman as she was trying to go out and walk her dog, followed her back to her apartment, forced his way in, and raped her. She was able to escape the apartment and call for help. Members of the Yukon women's rowing team have filed a federal lawsuit alleging the university's plan to eliminate its program as part of budget cuts in the athletic department violates their civil rights. Yukon representatives say they're confident that the plan cuts they've made are legal. I'm meteorologist Melissa Cole for Channel 3 Early Morning Forecast. Let's take a look at Futurecast as we go through the rest of today. Into tomorrow, we will see off and on showers and embedded heavier downpours, also some gusty winds. That will continue right through the evening commute on Thursday. Then a lot of the activity lifts to our north. will kind of quiet down after midnight. A passing shower or two is possible. By the time you wake up on Friday morning, we'll have some sunshine. It will be partly sunny throughout the day tomorrow, but very windy. Wind gusts could exceed 35 miles per hour. Then some colder air moves on in here after midnight tomorrow night into Saturday morning. We could even see a few snow showers making their way across the state by the time we wake up on Saturday morning, believe it or not. The rest of today, though, features showers and rain, 50s and 60s for daytime highs. As we head towards tomorrow, windy 65, dry for the weekend.